Feel me though? I mean really though All eyes on me, still can't see me though Feel me though? I mean really though Still talking about what they don't even know How y'all doing? Y'all now rocking with Naughty Dread with the Film It Old Podcast. I got a special guest today, Jamel Lennon, CEO of Big Brother Entrepreneur. Film It Old. Let's welcome him. Yo, yo. Film It Old. Jamel, what up, Richard? Yo. Big brother entrepreneur. What's happening? Well, you know what I'm saying? Welcome to the Film It Old Podcast. You know what I'm saying? We're here to bring you the inspiring stories of resilience, innovation, and transformation. I'm your host, Naughty Dread. Today we have a lineup. Well, not a lineup, but we got an incredible guest who have who have navigated a unique path. To success. Joining us, entrepreneur of the year, my cousin, you might know him as Tony, but Jamel Lennon. Yo. Uh, you know, he's a seasoned construction contractor. He's a Introduce yourself. Okay, well, you know, man, it's me, man. Like I said, Jamel Leonard. Streets and Wilmington know me as Pony. Now I'm King Pony. So, that's me. Um, you wanna you wanna give a little backstory where you're from? Uh, you know, your upbringing. Wilmington, born in New York, really. Came down, came down to Wilmington. Yeah, at a young age, real young age. I probably was about eight when I got down here. About eight. Back and forth. Started early, got off the porch early, man. I'm, I'm out. Fifteen, fourteen, twelve. Try 12, like I was already in like group homes, foster homes, going away, 12, training schools, county jails, prisons, feds. Yeah, and rap, you graduated through the uh, through the criminal. Yeah, 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 yeah. You graduated, eh? But that's not, yeah, you know, that's not, you know. That's not something to honor. That's not something to be like, yeah, yeah. But, yeah. So that's why I'm different and I'm unique. And that's why I know myself. You know what I'm saying? So that's why you can see the change and understand the change now because of all the little levels that you're saying. That's what it took for me. You know, sometimes it takes one time for a person. But for me, it took all those things, you know. And it was it was mostly of you know, how you growing up with your people. Like you you, you a kid. I'm, t- I'm taking it at ten years old. You a kid. You a- as a kid you go outside and play, you're not really responsible for your well being. Let me say that. But you're responsible for your actions a little bit as a kid. All kids bad, but you're not responsible for your well-being. So when your well-being is in the pit, that's how you grow. You grow from the pit. So you grow with nothing. You grow fucked up. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, uh, What's some of the what's some of the things that help you overcome that uh victimization mindset to get to the mindset of all I got to do is put one foot in front of the other? Again, prison. 
<laughs> Save me. The last bid, man, I got a, uh, I caught 10 years fight on by Felon. But what saves me is I I I have an education. I didn't know how to read. I did not know how to read. I could spell a little bit, but I couldn't really read or write for real. So people didn't really know I was really dumb as fuck. I was just witty, you know, and I was kind of good at the getting away with bullshit. But I was dumb as fuck, so I only would do what I knew how to do. Like, ain't nobody around. The people that was around me that was leading me, I'm not knocking them. Wow. But they didn't lead me to success. They told me how to get down with it. You know what I'm saying? They told me how to be who I am, who I was. So when I learned how to read, boy, it kind of scared me because I started seeing things and I started boom, boom. And I start seeing myself. I start knowing something other than going to do what I usually would do. I, I start applying. It just start happening. You know, so I start seeing the world. So you learn something. Yeah, then, you know what I'm saying? Like, and then that made, and then I'm like, damn, I want to learn something else. Yeah. That's, that's how I be all the time. When I learn something. Yeah, but what's crazy in the process of me learning it, the dudes was telling me, like, the shit you was doing, okay. It was just the wrong tax bracket. You need to learn about tax brackets. Because now look, it, it was it's like like the bud. Like I'm out here, I'm selling bud. You can tell I'm a good buzzman. I'm selling bud. I've been locked up for bud. I can shoot. I'm using that now as a reference. You ask, 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 yeah, I'm using that as a reference. Because now it's legal. Now you're making millions. You already see, I know how to establish all this. I, yeah, yeah. So I learned how to take the negative things that's in my life and use them as reference. As in, I know how to do something. I just was on the wrong tax bracket and ain't doing it. You understand what I'm saying? So, hey, if you had a if you had a message to uh to relate to the youth that's out here, you know, uh. Just lost, you know what I'm saying? In, in the streets, lost. What would you tell? Them? Find big brother entrepreneur, man. I have to find big brother entrepreneur, like, like. That's what each one teach one. That's what my joint is gonna be about. Like my nonprofit. I don't care like what condition you in. Like if you want to come out the condition, and. You believe in God and you about to really let go and, and let God, boy, you on the team, you unstoppable, we unstoppable. We unstoppable. Like, like seriously, like when each one teach one, it's like not a program or you know what I'm saying? It's it's serious. Cause we in the trenches, you know, since I had like boys and girls club. My mama was on drugs 24-7. See, I'm talking about a base head and I love my I love that lady to death. I ain't talking down on her. I'm just telling you the condition. So I had the boys and girls club, but I can go eat stuff. And they looking like, why the hell is this man eating all these snacks? I know I ain't nothing else to tomorrow. You see what I'm saying? What about those hours? You see what I'm saying? Like when, when, when the abuse and I'm a child. I, she, she can't keep me in. She's too high. I don't know what else to do. I'm a child. I can't make an excuse for myself at this age. It's a lot of us going through that right now. So you need a big brother that understand that scooping straight up. Let them know how to see what they're going through, how to talk to them, how to overcome. Now you got to got down, be the man for the house. See, I could have been the man for the house, but the mother, they ain't show me how to do that. They show me how to go and get locked up and get away from the house. I say, I'm not knocking nobody. I'm just mature enough to understand what the lit read now. Feel That's me it. Though. That's it. If you was ever my friend and you ever gave me drugs or you ever sold my mama drugs or you ever fucked my sister and we ever treated each other like devils, we was never really friends. We just, that's how we grew up. But now I understand Wait. where the friend is. I'm Muslim. Yeah. So that's how I feel, like so, and that's what I understand. So 
That's what I see. I can't change nothing. I ain't trying to change nothing. So I, I change mine. Like I try to put the um Michael Jackson said, change the man in the mirror. Like when you listen to these kind of songs, like you wasn't thinking about it. You change yourself, you change the world. Mic drop. Mm-hmm. Thank you that. Message. Mm-hmm. For real. So I'm just working on myself, you know. Um Shift and give as a construction contractor, you played a vital role in shaping some of the physical landscapes of some uh, golf courses around here. What drew you to this industry and how have you contributed to its evolution? See, the industry, what drew me to it is I'm the work hawk. No hashtag need to be brother entrepreneur. These rich white people, they out here. They got all kind of services inside they they building. So when I come to them, I come to them knowing all the services that they got. I do. I do the Kobe cleans. I do the yard cleans. I walk the dog. I I wash the windows. You walk the dogs. What you want me to do? You paying me? And I ain't going to jail. What you want me to do? Let's get this. You see what I'm saying? See, I did all this in the negative. Why I'm not going to do it in the positive? What you want me to do? So I ain't going to jail. Now nah, I ain't got to duck and hide. Now I'm pulling up. Four more. What's up? It'll be, be done. Look, check it out. So anyway, when I go there, I don't go there and sign for the job as Jamel Leonard. Nah, I'm an LLC. I sign for the job as Big Brother Entrepreneur with my end number. Uh, and this is how they pay me. So I'm a one-man army working for my own self at my own company, right? And I pay my own self. They pay Big Brother Entrepreneur, and Big Brother Entrepreneur paid Jamel Leonard. But this is what I'm trying to tell you. I done had people to where they had times where my 1099s came in. Mind you, oh, I got the job. Now my 1099s, I vacuum in their flows. Um, like I said, I'm washing the windows. I need people to come in. So they giving me a little budget. I'm paying somebody out. It's simple. But the thing is, tax bracket, when I when I when I wasn't in the right state of mind and the, the dear devil chances I took, they told me you genius. They told me, boy, you listen to them and show me. But my genius is not for myself. It comes with unity. It comes with bringing Black Wall Street back just like that. You see that? Bam! And it sound crazy, right? It sound crazy, but that's the kind of money we got, and we don't even got no money. And they don't want us to understand and know that. So, big brother entrepreneur, women and children, but I do all work. Like, I do all work. But going back to what led it, I'm working for myself out there at the golf course. At the golf course, you know, I maintain the dish room on the weekend sometimes we clean it, we pull shit out, pull all the damn equipment out, I pressure wash out there. Like I said, I do the windows out there. I'm out there and it's, they always needing people. You know what I'm saying? They always needing people. But instead of them needing people, I'm trying to show them, look, I go ahead and handle all this. Don't need nobody. Give me a budget for you said you was gonna hire three people. Give me a budget for the three people you was gonna hire and let me bring my people because they work like me. They work like you and it, yeah. And when I come on the scene, that's what it is. Don't work off. My work speaks for itself. But that's my that's my reason for going out there to get them contracts to go. They longevity and they ain't they ain't petty with their money. See, they professional. See, in the hood, you want me to pressure wash your whole wall, your whole damn house for a hundred dollars. I pressure wash the damn side of the people house. They might give me nine hundred. Hey, you, you, you got to go to your work. Sometimes you got to walk over, not walk over your people, but let your people know stuff. Come on, we got to stop our game over. We got to do some stuff. Not um, really walk over your people, but you need, to, you need to be with the people that got the money you trying to make. There's, no, there's no need for me, to, for me to be trying to get five-figure contracts dealing with people only trying to give me $50 yeah, to cut their yard. Yeah, but that's when, that's when 
this big but entrepreneur stretches out of that. It's just not cleaning. That's where the distribution, the merchant, and everything come in too. Because the people who ain't got it, I got ways for you to get it real quick. I, I, hey, I can stand this up. I can set my stands up here. Boom, boom. We, it's so many ways, but we got it. See, it's my come. My gift comes in unity. My gift don't come by myself. My Lord, it wasn't designed for me to share this shit by myself. You see what I'm saying? So that's why I'm been really calling out mostly for my people. When you see me, the people that I'm in charge with, they're youngins. I started them at seven, hanging with them, them my crew, seven to eighteen, and whatever I want to do. That's how they grow up, same way somebody in the street got them. But I got them already getting the money and everything. Where everybody praising them now. They ain't going to jail. They ain't, they don't know nothing. That I, you know what I'm saying? They don't, they, it's nothing. It's, everything is different. So you got to, I can't talk to you. You got to do a team, man. man. I, yeah, you, you can't. Guarantee they're going to eat. You, 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 you got to go forward. Gonna eat. Yeah, we going forward. You a boss then. We going forward. You guarantee we going to eat? That's what a boss is. Yeah, we going forward, bro. All right. Uh, so, what ser- what services does Big Buzz Entrepreneur do? I mean, I, <laughs> you know, you just said COVID, you said COVID clean. You said you do golf courses. Hey, you heard him. I just told the man on the work hall, no hashtag needed. He should have said what services you don't do. Big well, Buzz oh, Entrepreneur okay. would do it. See what I'm doing? When you look me up legally, I'm a business consultant. So what I do is I can solve any kind of business. You give me a budget. If I can't do it, I'll find somebody within the budget to do it. Big Brother Entrepreneur would get it done and get it done right with pride. See, that's all businesses is. See, whatever. Think about it. You want to build a house? I say, yeah, I can build a house. You say, all right, I want a house built for 200000 Okay, boom, I find you say, hey, bro, I got 100 bands. You'll build this house. You say, yeah, I just made 100 bands. This is how I go. This is America. You got to know the tax bracket. That's what we playing. We playing tax bracket. We teaching our kids at seven, early as seven. We teach tax brackets. Understanding, like, tax brackets. Like, it's nothing big but entrepreneur is not able to do because – I don't want to use his example, but I got to use his example. Like Henry Ford, you know what I'm saying? It's like, man, he knew how to do this shit. He knew how to pick the people and build the assembly, bro. And the shit today is like, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, bro. <laughs> they said they, they, they built the car in the 15th. Listen, I'm trying to show the people you don't got to know how to do nothing. You got to know how to see somebody else's talent and get the man paid for using it if he don't want to use it for himself. Yeah, like like Diddy, like like Diddy, he don't make the beats, he don't write the rhymes, but he get everybody that know how to do everything and put it together. Just put the money behind. That's the the best thing now is when I you know a little education I like to use it, but it's the delegation. Once you know how to delegate responsibility, your movements just gonna be. Mm. See, once you know how to delegate. You got to go to the next step, too, now. Once you start putting on responsibilities to other people, you got to know how to manage. You got to have managing skills also. See, I go to reference where the trap house is at. You, the people got you set up trap house, now you know how to manage. You see how you can turn all this positive? Imagine these are Skittles and M&Ms and candy bags, bro. Like, I don't know, bullshit. I ain't trying to pitch you on my, my thing. I'm just I mean, saying... I- I understand because I, I already know this like, shit. From, where, from where we came from, we've been salesmen, customer service people. We've been logistics. Uh, basically, we was man. Listen, man. When I, to, to tell me, look, we when I know about Amazon. the prepaid legal, I'm out there cooped out my mind. Listen. <laughs> God don't like when you dwell on the past and like go and find it so that's not what i want to do there was this time i was high my mind yo and the lawyer system came to me and i was so high dealing with these people cars just trying to get over any kind of way man shame look the lawyer service locked in my head today that run my that run big brother entrepreneur I knew it like the back of my head. So everything I did in the past, it wasn't a waste. Don't think I'm sitting here saying, ah, it wasn't a waste. 
Nothing is a waste. It's, a it's the tax bracket. And this tax bracket we talking about is your heaven and hell tax bracket. See, I was doing all things rushing to go to hell. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying? So I kind of like woke up and told myself I want heaven. So you kind of won't see me rushing to hell no more. You won't, you'll see me bear, like, damn, this nigga, he old ass nigga. Yeah, I'm 41. I can't be out there with him because, like, they're 13 to 18, trying to rap, trying to kick old game, and them tell him to get up the block. No, man, get the fuck out of the way. You know how you got to do it? You got to pull up with the Rolls Royce, man, show them 10, 30 bands, and tell them to go to New York and get three kilos of candy bars and bring it right back. A candy bar. Sell them at Hollow all week. You're paying them big boy money, $20, $30 an hour. Selling candy bags. Fuck out of here. Come on, Ox. Come on, Ox. We can't, we can't take something without replacing it with something. We can't pull up on them like that. You want to change something, you got to change it. Shit. My mama was hungry. Niggas preaching me, but I was hungry. Boy, you know why I slept in there? I stole from my brothers and sisters to rob for them. Y'all ain't feel me? We was, we was friends and family, but shit, my mom got the check, took the money. But shit, I, what I had to do? I was a kid. You took the full stamps. You bought all, you right? I do it to the day. What I was supposed to do? <laughs> each one teach one, bro. So if we not going to correct it the right way, it's just, it's fall back. So that's why I stood with my family. Like, I'm bringing my sons out. I'm branding them. I'm showing them, showing them. And when they attract their friends and I talk to their mamas, them the young ones that I start grabbing. I'm just not walking around trying to save the world. No. I ain't doing me that much. Um cloud yeah, I've been working on myself, it's been working. But I I would like to say I apologize for the damage I did because I understand the collateral damages it's caused. Seriously. Yeah, seriously. It's people now that still look at me like that's pony. When you deal with me, like holler at me because they thinking I'm me. You still good. Yeah. yeah. That's why I was I'm, 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 like, I'm sliding like from the city, you know what I'm saying? I, this is up for me. I'm gonna have a little something here running for me. When I come through, I'm coming through as a boss, as I should be. It's like, I, I won this shit. Like this is a retirement town. I'm supposed to come down with my money. You know, I got businesses here, I boom, boom. Man, boom, cause I gotta go. Yeah, ain't sure a lot. Wait, but your, like your story is really important because it, it showed that you could come from the mud. It showed that all you need is the all you need is the information. Yeah. Once you got the information, you took off. Yeah. You but ain't you know, back. The thing about getting the information, see, you could take the horse to the water, but can't make him drink. Can't Everybody drink. heard that. I wasn't never my mama. <laughs> nobody couldn't give me the, the information. So. I'm attracted by danger. I know. Gangster, like, like. Think about it. Think about it. Bro. I ain't even try to say things I do or did, bro, because I don't want to glorify that, bro. Like, but I'm ashamed of nah, that to nah, this day. Nah. But the guy that when I was doing my fed bid with, man, I violated them some kind of way, bro. And he got life in 35 years. Man, that man woke me up one day with that goddamn blade, man. And told me that God gave me a chance, man. But when I woke up, he had all the paperwork all already around the room of him, his life. This when you go, when you in the feds, how you check paperwork. See, he, I ain't had to check his paperwork because he was already there. He, boom, he, he, he certified check. It's, he had all this paperwork out. I don't know who he is, man. Man, he Jamaican posse. He wasn't actually a killer. He was the brain of everybody. He got all his money. My selling nine hundred thousand, nine hundred ninety nine dollars a million in prison. My life today, right now, still didn't hit his commissary money, and that's what he showed me and told me. You making all the right moves, but all the wrong reasons, the all wrong tax brackets, you will never have it. So boom, when your man put the knife to me. He told me I got an option. Get up and fight me. I'm a warrior. Mind you, when you're in prison for years, burpees and boom, boom, you warrior. Man, I had no fucking chance. Look, you, you can get up and fight me, or you can get down here and let me teach you how to pray. 
I don't think they'll save your life tonight. I, I'm going to kill you tonight. I already told the e and everybody, you're going to die tonight. Well, you know how I felt, boy? I was scared as hell at that moment. My life changed. And I'm not a mutt. I, you, everybody in the world just know defeat. The man taught me how to pray, and I prayed just to get out of the room. I wasn't serious. God made Muslims, man. I know, man, something happened to me, boy. I'm telling you. About two months later, boy, I was in there, like, studying and shit, like, and, and it was so different because, bro, I was reading, bro. Like, you don't understand that I am, man, I'm reading. You see know what I'm saying? I'm passing the GD test. I'm coming home. Check me out. I came home with a associate's degree in business. Feel me, though? So that's what I think about. That's what I get up. So I, that's all kind of ideas. That's what's in my mind now. I, I think about this. Because all before it was just negative. I had nothing in my mind. So that's all I did. So now when I get up, that's what I'm thinking about. Boom. Because that's all in my mind now. Better late than never. But when he taught me how to read, bro, it was more of like he was a warrior. Oh, he ain't getting out. He ordered this, set up this, arranged this, paid for these houses. All the people work out. Never he got two life sentences and 35 years. Yeah, he's a millionaire. Nah, he couldn't take not a dime of his money. All his money, so legit. So he told me about the candy. He showed me that snicker bars sell more than crack cocaine. See, crack cocaine and drugs, you only can sell to 25% of the people. Food, you sell to 100% of the people, especially when you're dealing with candy. You actually sell to 110. <laughs> it's people buying candy dead. Shit, they stick hearts on your grave. I'm seriously. But $1 bill, a million times is a million dollars. Do you know if you're on the corner of the way you sell drugs, selling candy, and you just run to the cops and everybody, that you will make Eight times the money you was ever making selling drugs. So if you was making, let's just say you was on a, a $60,000 a year selling drugs shit, man, you got them two, three million dollars a year, boy, because you can't be stopped. Because you only selling 25%. The, the 125 is the. So I, I now I do values. I, I do values. Like if I said, boy, I'm, this motherfucker, he's talking about getting six deuce. Look all the rich in six deuce. Six deuce costs this. I'll go to goddamn Sam's Club and spend the same money I'm going to get for the six deuce. And goddamn blow the money out. It don't make no sense how I was ever selling drugs. Because that's what they taught me. That's what they showed me. Damn, so, they make, damn, they make a hundred grand. That's what they off showed the me. We would have been doing this shit. Pop them pop. When pop. That error came out. Pops, right. They left. They lost us from right then and there. My nigga walked up to me, growing his hair the same way, thinking he, bro, what's going on, bro? Love felt different. That was happening, huh? Not that I'm on my dean and you ain't on yours, white, but, but come on, man. You got to come correct, man. Put some respect on that joint. Well, you know, you're, you're an adult. 141 about to be 42. Like, what's up? How you doing, D? Shit, we still here, nigga. We got to get going. Like, what's up? Well, we got no time. Like, no more wasting. Shit. But I, I also would like to give a shout out to, like, to all the people who helped me vent and, you know, and, and to get through it. And that's another big secret. Sometimes you won't have the answers to a person's problem. But when a person feel the need to confine in you, shut the fuck up sometimes and let them get it out. Because that's all that's all I'll be really needing. Like, I'll be wanting to talk to people bad, but I don't need you. Like, you know what? You got to start. Because you don't fucking know what you need to do. They need to start. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They to walk. They to tell you how to walk. I'm trying to goddamn, you don't know what it is to do me. Like, let me, let me, let me tell somebody. <laughs> That's probably trying to, you don't know what it is to be me. You know what I'm saying? Your story is truly inspiring. 
Well, I mean, you don't convey the message, but those facing adversity and struggling to find their path, what you gonna tell them? Because you done faced adversity, struggling, you found your path. And I'm now you got the same thing I, I, I was told at the same moment. What you want, brother? Life or death? The one thing you probably gonna hear or gonna wanna believe, God gave you this free will. That's the only authority you got in life. So you gotta use it and you gotta choose. You fucking with the devil or you fucking with the Lord? Which one? Simple. If the man says he's fucking with the Lord, he in. That's what I'm rolling with. See, I ain't never take an oath. Like, I wasn't like, I, I was out there, but I wasn't like, I ain't taking no oath. I had sense. I had good sense still. But my first oath, I, I was Muslim. So I, I'm grabbing the man. I don't give a damn. Like, like shit, he could be muddy, whatever, bro. Come come lay in my front room. The lady cussing me out. But he got the lady. You see what I'm saying? So. Well, I got to tell them the same thing. You believe in God, yo. It's a time, man. It's just time to tell them, like, that's what it is. And at that time, myself and everything that I got and who I know is your support. It's your push. It's like, yo, because that's what happens. It's like you another link on the chain. So it's like you only strong as the group. So you chain up with a bunch of bullshit people, you kind of going to be the same way. But if you chain up with people you just going somewhere and things you want to do in life that's not playing, bro, and like boom, 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 that's what's happening. But they, they, don't they, like, say, they say you only going to get it as far as the people you talk to for no reason. I'm telling you that. Meaning, thing. if you talk to this motherfucker and he can't teach you nothing, you can't learn nothing from this motherfucker, you eventually will be in the same position he will be in. No, and eventually you, yeah, eventually and definitely, and and we overnight, definitely. yeah, because not this, overnight. Come you got to think about. Look, we are products of that. Just I was just saying, you the statement you just said overnight. So man, I ain't graduated from high school. I just told you I ain't learned how to read. I just told you I was still in the cars. I ain't started coming outside thinking let me go steal a car. I'm not blaming nobody for doing it. I'm just blaming for somebody for thinking that way and thought for me, just like you said. So now I'm going with the people who thinking for us still, because we all got to be thought for somebody. Yeah, you never, you never got to un never underestimate the power of personal growth and second chances. Surrounding yourself with positive influences, be persistent. And believe in your ability to change, and you're going to succeed. Feel me, though? Yeah, you know like what I'm that. saying? A anything else you want to share with the people? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to share a lot. Like, man, listen, man. We got you want to you want to talk? You, you want to talk yeah. about uh, trending topics? Yeah, I got a trending topic. Each one, teach one. Well, let's move together, man. It's time for all of us to come together, man. And see what the lit read, boy. Like millions. I mean, millions. I, I got, let's come together. That's I, topic we need, to, we need to bring out. I need this, your opinion on some things. Let me get it. Let me get it. This is time. This is what it's for, right? Iran done declared war on the United States. They done let the Red Dragon, which is a uh, you know the Chinese game. They done let numerous of them in here in America on this refugee bullshit. They just let the enemy in. How are we going to deal with that? And they know they let them in. See, first off. What, what would you tell the citizens of America? What they should do? How you feel? Probably like most of y'all. Uh... I ain't even know it was a war happening. What? See? Hold on, hold on. But let me tell you why that's a good thing for me. Because I'm in the United States. You see what I'm saying? And 
far as let somebody in, man, listen, man, damn Chinese people been here since the United States been here. They already been here. Ain't no letting in. No, but they got the the like a uh, a gang, like a. Uh, they had that forever. They had that was forever. Uh, they Bro, found you... they found these they found some of these people scuba diving outside of military installations. I'm going with all that. Like they they doing reconnaissance. I'm going with all that, but I'm saying them motherfuckers be here. It's just getting more. It's something happened now. They say fuck it, but they, yeah, ain't, they, they ain't no sneaking in the United States. Let me say this. That's why I said I'm in the United States, so I don't even know trouble. Ain't no sneaking in the United see, States. They snuck in. Let me tell you how they snuck in. They snuck in because they didn't come through China. They came through Iran, Iraq, and shit. They went over there and, and, and got came over here as refugees. Like they're getting away from the war they're over there in Israel, Iran and shit. But they really the uh, red dragon. Listen, man. The, uh, the Chinese military and shit. Like half of the people, like I'm saying again. Man, you better, y'all and they just y'all, finding this out. Man, y'all better bear your arms and y'all better take y'all little self-defense classes and y'all, you know what I'm saying? You better, even if you feel like, oh, I ain't worried about it, take pieces of this seriously. Start doing something. Because listen, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Listen, Shit. if they, <laughs> they if, here, guess if, what? If any part of this war is on American soil, it's going to be up to the citizens. The police and the military are going to be home protecting their families. No. So you make sure that you can protect yours. I'm, I'm with that, but no. Because see, this how this another thing I'm finding out too, bro, about brain power and books and and, and 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 the law, martial law, and all that. When they call shit like that, right? The cop that's on duty, bro, but they they're gonna be on duty. They're gonna know? be taking care of guards on duty, so they ain't gonna be like, oh, I'm a cop, I'm gone. No, no, no. They're gonna be there, but if they got if it's all called like that. It's gonna be man for man, bro. That's what I'm saying. They're gonna be taking care of they they're gonna be watching their family. So it ain't gonna be no police you can call. You gotta take care of you and yours. You know what I'm saying? That'd be, crazy, gonna, that'd be crazy. Listen, that'd be what? like chaos. That, guess what? Guess what? Look, that, guess what's gonna happen though? Well, you fight for bread. All these independent That's women like the out here. Dead shit. Hold on, hold on. Listen, all these independent women out here, guess what they're gonna do? They're gonna find him a man to get under. Believe that. Yeah, and no. I'm gonna say yeah and no. Okay. No, sisters, they, strapped, they strapped up too. Don't think about a sister, boy. Right. Sister strong. Bullshit. I'll be done find me a sister to get under. Not saying I won't leave my lady. <laughs> no, she's coming, she's coming to find you. Well, yeah, follow us. There's no it's, and that's no question. She's coming to find you. Man, it's the end of the goddamn world, girl. You better shut the fuck up and come on. What the fuck you talking about? Exactly. She coming. That's when she gonna listen. When she can't, that's when she gonna listen. When she know, nah, but for real, something like that was to happen, man. That'd be scary, bro. That'd be like, cause you ain't thinking. Let me, I ain't even know that was happening. And see, look, the whole time, like I'm, I'm, I'm here preparing for this shit. I just started getting my body right for war. I just started working out, running. I'm, I got, I'm trying to make sure if these motherfuckers come over there, I'm ready for this shit. Yeah, but not, they, look, I got, I got some. I just believe, shit. I just believe they ain't coming over here, bro. Like, there ain't time for that right now. Like, you talking about it ain't time, and they and they done declare war. Yeah, it could gonna, be tomorrow, and we see the motherfuckers parachuting down. Nah, you listen. You say you no, can't you not no. get in our airspace, bro. I'm. That's why I see that's it. it. That's it. That's, that's what you're wrong. Because you don't see. You didn't even bro, know we was at war. I didn't know he was at okay, war. Okay, the fool. Do, do you know that him. Russia, hold on, hold on. Do you know that Russia is ain't nothing but like 150 miles from Alaska? I don't give a damn. No, you say inch. that. You say that, but Russia could fly for an hour and be here. I didn't say that either. They and, probably can be here in an hour. And you know about the British currency? They partner, they, they ally is Canada. And they, oh, I can't be Canada. See, yeah, I'm going with you. Right there. But what I said is the key thing. All that is fact. 
can be fat, but they cannot sneak Canada. into our airspace. That no. line, that inch. That See line? This? Once they shit. cross one side from one side, they might make it over, but everything no. That's how that, that, that's how it is, bro. Everything no, bro. All they got to do is all they got to do is make it one time. That's all. all only time you only you you could lose a thousand times. It's only it only takes one time for you to win and take. Yeah, over. but if people, uh, if, if we know now that we at war, United States know that war, boy, they're on point. Well, ain't no goddamn sneaking no more. I mean, like no secret. Shit, it's red. That, that's the thing this about. That's the thing about the United States. We the bullies of America. And that's the time I'm counting on you. I hate your ass. Yeah. <laughs> I hate I your hate ass. You. But yeah. <laughs> this is when I need you to pull out that bullet shit. Because they trying to got down. I don't want to live nowhere else. Yeah. I want to live in America. So y'all make sure y'all handle them motherfuckers. I don't care how you do it. Just make sure my life ain't affected. Oh, that's yeah. where I'm at with. Because I'm an American. I don't want to. I don't. I don't want to live in the Sahara. I'm sure that, like my ancestors, ain't even from Africa. I'm sure my ancestors was the indigenous people of this land. And that's the stuff I like to find out you know about. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm sure see, my I'm people that now. never been to Africa. I want to know. I'm sure my people. Look, I'm half Puerto Rican, half black. Why? Why I got probably got family pictures from the 1800s, where I can where I can see my my great grandma, great great grandma, like my my great grandma's mama. My grandma had pictures of her. That's the whole totally different way of life than how we live. The so, times different, and, and but this what I'm. Just the key thing. The information wasn't available for our, for our people. We got to find a way to get that out because, boy, I ain't know about that. And I'm going to go home and look up and see what's going on because that's important. That's an important like, stuff to know. Like, if we is. Like, do we need to if they, the, if they, do if they, the people? Time, if it's a time clock, do emergency because everybody need to hide because I don't know. I ain't never know. I ain't, ain't going to say that like I don't watch the news or whatever, but I make time for stuff like that because uh, man, I just ain't man. I don't want no shit like that to happen. No hashtag needed, man. Big brother, entrepreneur, man. Work hard, man. Trying to get Yo. it done, man. Oh shit! I'm trying to get this thing done. Well, you know what? Uh, it's gonna be a part two to this. You know, he's going to be a reoccurring guest on the Fibbit Old Podcast. Y'all get to know him. Then when the part two come through, see, I'm coming through straight to the business. I already told you the who, ah, sad story, ah, and I told you how powerful that sad story turned me to. You know, you know how I diamond is formed. They, that pressure, I already been through that. So now my second one, when I come back, like, I'm a paperwork guy, too. So now when I come back second time, I got the papers for this, I got the papers for that, I got the papers for that. What's up? It, it's not about no currency. Even if you don't have currency, the best currency right now when I'm back against the wall is time. The time mm. you can give a person. So Time um, is, is the currency. Yeah, yeah. Time is the currency. You may not even have no money. Don't worry. Time. And, and, and it works itself out. So... Calling for the family, you know. Not the family, but line. Calling for the family, you know. All that. All God people, man. You ever know no hashtag either, man. Big brother entrepreneur, man. You know what? Yeah, you speak family. All I be wanting from family is an invite. You know. But, you know, other things. Thank you for sharing your remarkable stories. It's clear that whether in business, construction, personal development, resilience, determination, and a forward-looking mindset are key. To our listeners, remember that every journey is unique, but the lessons learned are universal. Join us next time on the Film It Old Podcast. 
where we continue to explore the extraordinary and the ordinary. Until uh -huh. then, stay inspired. Feel me, though? Sign off for the, to the people. You know what I'm saying? Tell the people goodbye. Yeah, already, man. Y'all stay up, man. Each one, teach one. That's Pony, a.k.a. Samir, a.k.a. Jamel Leonard. AKA CEO of Big Brother Entrepreneur. Peace, kid. Feel me, yo? Feel me, though? I mean, really, though? All eyes on me, still can't see me, though. Feel me, though? I mean, really, though? Still talking about what they don't need. Plug out Atlanta, Woo. the work I get you can't handle. Can't handle. Broke niggas want Anna, Anna. Lock and loaded, no camera. No camera. On the grind, got stamina. got stamina. I get a rush off the jug. I'm the little nigga that could. Real life, I came out the mud. 